Yo, welcome back to another how-to video from Games Plus Internet. Today we're going to be talking about how to connect your Nintendo Switch to your Elgato capture device so you can live stream or record with it or whatever you want to do with the footage. Uh, I actually have not uploaded in a short while because of uh, the holiday season and also I recently found out that I will be a father in July. So uh, leave uh, lots of love in the comments or whatever. I'm super excited. So yeah, there was a small break in uploads because of that, but... Uh, I'm happy to be back. We hit 40 subscribers while I was gone, so that's huge. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might do a giveaway at 50 on Twitch. So, yeah, that's probably going to be the easiest way to do it. It'll be through YouTube, but on Twitch live, because uh, I might be able to do it through YouTube. But anyways, let's go ahead and get uh, started with how to connect your Nintendo Switch to Elgato. So first, you're going to want to take the dock. Uh, we don't need the Nintendo Switch at this time. Just take your dock and make sure that's plugged into the wall and the USB Type-C adapter is plugged into the Nintendo Switch uh, dock itself. And then take your HDMI cable, plug that into the dock, and then run that into the input section on your Elgato. Um, yours might not look like mine. My Elgato is mounted to my motherboard. It's one of the uh, internal PC ones, but they also have several other external smaller uh, Elgatos. They all do the same thing, essentially. but make sure that you have your switch plugged into the input section of that. But once you have that done, you're gonna to wanna to take another HDMI cable and run that to either a television or uh, I use my second monitor on my PC a lot of the time when I'm streaming. So uh, if you have a second monitor or your, your TV that you wanna play your game through, uh, make sure you plug the output cable from the Elgato into the television. So you have one from the Nintendo Switch to the Elgato and one from the Elgato to the t television. All right, so once we get that far, uh, you're going to want to open the Elgato software on your PC. If you, for some reason, cannot figure out where to get it from or your box with Elgato did not explain how to get the software, I will have a link. It's entirely free. You don't need a registration code or anything. You just have to download it through their website in case um, you didn't get it for some reason. So once you uh, have that downloaded and installed, it might need to update too. I'm not entirely sure, but it will look like this. You can see it on my screen here. Uh, this is the Elgato software. It might have the PS4 popped up here. This is what I normally stream with. So I'm just going to walk you through this anyways without having this preset on the Switch just in case yours is not displaying it already. Uh, from this point, we're going to want to get the software ready before you set the Switch on there. Or if your Switch is on there already, that's fine. Uh, it's just easier to tell if it's working if you don't have it displaying anything before we turn it on. So... Hit this little gear over here and make sure you change the input to the Nintendo Switch or whatever, really whatever you're using should work. The PlayStation software is a little bit uh, more tricky to get to use with the HDMI because HDCP and I'll make a separate video on that. But uh, yeah, as long as you have Nintendo Switch selected, this should work. Go ahead and click OK and you should see the Switch here now instead and it should say uh, Nintendo Switch somewhere else. I don't remember where it's at. But this right here is going to be your game audio. Once you have uh, the game playing, you'll see these two audio bars popping up. And then you can pick a different audio device for uh, your live commentary. Right now, mine's not picked up because this blue light is off. Make sure you hit this button if you want it to capture your voice. You have to turn this light on if you want it to capture your voice because it will not by default. So at this point, if your switch is already on the dock, make sure you turn it on. Or if you're just playing your game and you're getting ready to record your footage, go ahead and just set your Nintendo Switch down on the dock. You can see this is just my, uh, what is it, the lock screen on the Switch? I don't know what you want to call that, but you can see uh, that's what popped up as soon as mine turned on. Uh, at the bottom here at the Agato thing, there are several preset different uh, overlays. Mine is just this basic one here. You can see me in the corner there, but uh, I'm not going to explain how to use these. They're they're pretty simple. As long as if you have a webcam, they're really easy to set up, but... If for some reason this tutorial does not work, leave a comment and I will get back to you. I'm pretty good about getting back to the comments as quick as I can. And if you want a response even quicker, catch me when I'm streaming because I will I will essentially stop what I'm doing to help you if it's something that should be working if you followed all the steps correctly. So if you have any other suggestions or questions about how-to videos or anything in general like that, go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, we recently hit 40 subscribers, so that's freaking huge. Thanks to everybody that joined while I was gone. And uh, like I said, when we get to 50, I might do a giveaway, probably for a PlayStation or Xbox card or a Nintendo Switch card, depending on what you want. But yeah, thank you for all of that and the support. Please subscribe if you enjoyed these videos. Leave a like, like I said, if you like the content. Peace out, guys.